Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video, I will explain you complete analysis of the building structure by using time history analysis method in ETAP software. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel till now, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. So initially I will show you the model which is related to the building structural model which I was already done the modeling process and analysis process under the considerations of the gravitational loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition systems. So here I am selecting my ETAP software model here. Now you can see this is the building model. So for this building model, I was taken the grade of the concrete is M30 grade concrete provisions and grade of the steel is FE500 grade steel provisions. In the same process, I was taken the frame section dimensions which is related to beams of 0 0.45 cross 0 0.23 for the beam sections and column section will be consisting of 0 0.6 cross 0 0.23. So now I will show you this uh, slab thickness for this particular building structural model. So slab thickness I was taken approximately 150 mm. For this building structural model, I, I was taken the load cases related to gravitational loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system. So initially I will show you the load cases. Just I am selecting load patterns option. So for this building structural model, I was taken dead loading condition, live loading condition, seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition system. So here I am selecting earthquake loading x direction condition system initially. Click on modify option. So now we can see for this building structural model, I was taken the direction will be of x direction with seismic coefficient value is 0 0.36. So in the same process for the uh, seismic load in y direction also, I was taken the same properties except the direction condition system. Now I will select the wind loading condition system. For the wind loading condition system, I was taken the wind loading which is of 44 kilometer per second with a terrain category of 4 and importance factor I was taken as 1 and risk coefficient factor is 1 and topographic coefficient factor is 1 and windward direction coefficient pressure value will be of 0 0.86 and leeward uh, coefficient value of the pressure will be of 0 0.5. So click on the cancel option. Again now I will show you the load cases which is applied for the building structural model. For this structural model, I was taken the load cases which is related to uh, dead loading condition under that we, I was taken 2 kN per meter square as the floor load condition and 3 kN per meter square as the uh, live loading condition for this. Again in the same process for the frame section, I was taken the loads which is comes under the 24.3 which is the summation of the external wall load, internal wall load as well as the parapet wall load for the structure. So after the analysis process completed, we have to do the non-linear uh, time, uh, time history analysis case. So for that, initially we need to define the function which is related to time history function. For that, go to click on the define option here and select the function option here. In this, it will be consisting of response spectrum analysis function as well as the time history fun analysis function. So I was already explained the concepts, complete concepts related to response spectrum analysis functions in my previous video. You can watch the video. I will provide you that video in a book or link and below description of this video. Okay. So here I am selecting my time history analysis case. Next I am selecting here. So it will be consisting of already L center file data here. Okay. So initially I am deleting this particular data. So firstly we have to add some uh, L center file data. Basically the L center file data will be helpful for giving the relation between the seismic coefficient factor and damage rate of the building structure in the past years. If you are having the perfect L centro data file, you can browse that file. If you don't have the file, the program was given the default L centro data file, you can browse that file. So initially we have to select the choose function type to add here. From this we have to select the function from file. Okay. So from this we have to click on the add new function option. So firstly, we have to give the function name is time history analysis. Why? Because we are doing the time history analysis case only. So that's why just I'm selecting THA. So after that, we have to select the function file. So the L center file data will be available defaultly in ETAP software. So firstly, we have to browse that particular file. So for that, just I'm selecting browse here. So in this, we need to select the computer, this PC and we have to select the local disk C. In this, we have to select the program files. From this, we have to select the computer sun structures. From this, we have to select the ETAP 18. From this, we have to select the functions which is available here. This time history functions here. In this, it will be consisting of so much of the functions. It, it will be consisting of the number of functions here like this. From this, we have to pick only the L centro file data, L centro like this. Okay, click on open option. 
so now we can see it will loaded with all the function ta type data like headlines to skip two factor and uh, per line to skip zero number of the points to per line which is consisting of eight and values equals to interval of 0.02 okay so this is the graph which is related to the l center function data file so if you want you can uh, load the file to time history function value data also but it is not showing here for this particular building structural model just we have to click on uh, directly ok option here ok now we can see l centro 1 was uh, created here like this so we have to click on ok option after defining the uh, time history function so now we have to add time history function case load case so for that just i am selecting define option here and just i am selecting load cases option so it was it will be consisting of dead load live load f kick load as well as the uh, wind loading condition system so now we have to add the new file so for that firstly we have to click on the add new load case just i am selecting time history analysis in x direction condition so now we have to select the load case type here so from this we have to pick a time history case here and in this we have to select the non-linear or linear model so in this case for example just i am taking non-linear model only so now we have to add the time history function so for that just i am selecting add button so load pattern will be consisting of acceleration in the same process it will be consisting of u1 direction with the function type is l centro with factor as 1 click on add close option click on ok option now in the same process just i am adding the one more function which is related to time history analysis in y direction condition so again in this we have to select the time history which is related to non-linear model only again in the same process we have to click on the add option related to acceleration in u2 direction similar to that of the response spectrum analysis case but the function will be varies here so l centro 1 data click on add option click on close option now you can see it was added with the time history analysis x direction time history analysis y direction here like this click on ok option then after that we have to do the analysis process again so for that go to analyze option here check models initially we have to check for the errors for the respective lines or joints so now we can see here my model is checking for the zero uh, any errors so now we can see it was obtained with no errors so go to analyze option set load cases to run option here so in this we have to select the uh, load case which is related to uh, time history analysis only why because we are doing only the time history analysis case only click on the run now option so that it will do the time history analysis analysis for the building structural model now we can see this is the deflection diagram for the building structural model under the considerations of the loading condition in order to see the deflection diagram related to time history analysis case we have to click on the display option deform shape which is related to uh, load case of time history analysis x direction so we have to click on apply option so that it will display the deflection diagram which is related to time history analysis in x direction in the same process you can select the time history analysis in y direction condition click on apply so that it will display the time history analysis in uh, y direction condition also so now in the same process we have to see the time history analysis plots for this project so for that go to click on display option just i am selecting plot functions okay so now we can see this is the plot function which is related to time versus base uh, force value here this is the graph which is related to this again in the same process if you want to change the graph uh, horizontal function and vertical function you can change here depends upon your consideration the value will be changes so again in the same process i am selecting time history analysis in y direction condition system now we can see this is the plot related to time history analysis in y direction condition system okay in the same process you can see the another graphs also depends upon your consideration just i am selecting uh, canceling this option the, so here I, now i want to see the results part which is related to deflection shear bending torsion for that go to display go to click on show tables option so from this we have to select the property related to time history analysis case only just i am selecting these two cases click on ok option now we have to select the display design information or else you can select the analysis displacement story drift option select the reactions you can select the uh, velocity or joint masses again uh, you can select this or you can select this frame models and you can select this depends upon your consideration you can select the options of results so here i am selecting this again i am selecting this model time period and frequency in the same process i am selecting another cases story forces like this and story stiffness like this click on ok option so that it will display the complete results part related to story uh, forces as well as the time period frequency values story drift values as well as the forces value and stiffness value so this is the complete process of 
analysis of the building structural model by using time history analysis by using ETAP software. If you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.